Hello and welcome to a vlog that somebody out there somewhere might actually find useful and informative. I think we know that's not going to happen. Um, I wanted to talk to you about this. This small brown thing with a red lid is actually an Aeropress Go. For those of you who don't know what an Aeropress is, uh, this coffee maker was designed by a guy in America and the original idea behind it was because American coffee is made uh, brewing in a jug uh, that you could make a small amount of coffee. You put a filter paper in here, you screw that onto the bottom of your Aeropress, you put coffee in there, you fill it with water and then by pressing this plunger down you push air through which causes the coffee to go into a cup. Uh, there's lots of different ways to use this Aeropress. They talk about uh, making sure you, you have fresh beans all the time and a, a mini grinder with you so you can get the grind right. Uh, they do this inverted brew so you can make the brew upside down and push it in there. And, and that's all fine uh, if you've got way too much time on your hands. Uh, what I really like about this is the fact that I can make really nice coffee very, very quickly. You just literally put the coffee in, put the water in, plunge it, and away we go. One of the other great things about uh, the Aeropress is that it's transportable. This is the new Go model. The normal one is a little bit bigger than this. Um, it's very easy to carry around, but once you've got your Aeropress Go and the stirrer and the bits that go with it, um, it does take up quite a bit of space. And uh, When they brought out the Aeropress Go, I saw a review online and the guy who was doing the review um, couldn't understand what was the point of the Aeropress Go. He kept saying, all you get is a cup. I don't get it. You, all you get is a cup. It doesn't make any sense. Well, maybe not to some people, but to me, it makes perfect sense. I travel quite a lot. I spend a lot of time in hotels. They're not the poshest hotels in the world. I tend to stay in quite nice places, but they're not the poshest. Um, and with an Aeropress Go, yes, you do get a cup with it. Why is that important? The Aeropress itself is quite a large disc. And when you, with the normal Aeropress, you get a funnel, but that's something else to carry. This Aeropress sits exactly on this cup. That's exactly what it's designed to do. And one of the criticisms in the video that I watched was, well, if you're in a hotel, you would normally have a cup. Yes, you do. But just to prove this point, I am staying at the Mercure Hotel uh, just off the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. And this is the cup I've got. Firstly, my Aeropress doesn't fit in that cup. And secondly, it's made of paper. And if I press down on it, it's basically just going to crush that cup and make a big coffee mess everywhere. Um, you get some other things with it as well. You get a little plastic disc for carrying your paper filters in. Uh, if I can just open this up, I can show you. There we go. There's my little paper filters. Um, and it's just a nice easy way of transporting it around. You get a miniature scoop and a miniature stirrer with a hinge in it. Um, and all of those fit into the Aeropress so that you can then carry the Aeropress around with you. Pop the papers on top so you can pop everything inside and then you pop the lid on and then that makes it nice and transportable. I probably should just show you what happened when my Aeropress Go arrived in the post and I said to my daughter, oh, can you do an unboxing video for me? Wasn't expecting quite the epic that it turned out to be. Welcome to this unboxing video for Andrew Council. He unfortunately cannot be with us today, but he has asked us to unpackage this. Uh, we we don't know what it is, um, but we're we're going to see what's uh, what's going on. Um, so first thoughts, packaging not great. If I'm honest, it doesn't really entice me, but I guess you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Well, so it might get stolen. It might get stolen. My camera woman is right. Sorry, camera person. I should yeah. assume your gender. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually insulting. There we go. First side done. Second side done. I should come in and zoom. Oh, do you want to zoom in? Oh, I thought I'd better when you camera open person. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about that. I'm in here. Don't stick those scissors in too much. They're fine. Yeah. They're so dramatic. Oh. 
This is this is what we've got in the box. Yeah, excess packaging. I mean, it's all cardboard and tape. I, I feel a smaller box would have been fine. Okay. So this is uh, this is the AeroPress Go we've got here. There we go. It's new. It is spanking new. Brand spanking new. But I mean, it's a new design. Oh. Because when I bought Dad's AeroPress in October, there was not this. Otherwise, this is what I'd have bought. What? Here we go then. We go. So this <laughs> class. <laughs> That can go in the edit. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one we've currently got. This is the AeroPress original design. So let's move that. Do yes. Okay. Um. So it's got it's got some more tape on it. Unfortunately, save the turtles, guys. Save yeah. The turtles. Do it for David. Do it for David. Oh. So it's thank you for choosing the AeroPress Go. To see a demo, go to www.aeropress.com. Useful. Useful. We, we like a video. I'm probably not going to do that though because I have more important things to do with my. Oh, it's squidgy. <laughs> mm. nice. Huh. Oh, blimey. Right. So we've got the components here, a squidgy thing. Lid? I don't think so. I think it just holds everything yeah, in, a like a lid. Uh, like a lid. So a lid then. <laughs> it's got this flat disc here. That is to store your papers in. It, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh my God, it is. That's mad. Look at that. So, Two flat discs with a hinge. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> mad thing. Um, ah, I see, I see. We've got a scoopy spoon and mm -hmm. I think a stir. Stir, yes. Is it so you can't go too deep and rock up your paper? Oh, so you just. I assume, as one would, that it is made the exact same way as the normal arrow press is, only it is just. It's a. It's baby, baby brother. So this one presumably makes four cups and this one makes three cups. It does it does muggy have its little case. muggy no muggy carry case. Um and in the bottom, I believe so these are micro filters. I don't know if this one is smaller. I think it's exactly the same, so exactly the yeah. same. So it is Slightly actually different transferable Hole configuration there yeah so these ones are circu circular mm -hmm. and these ones here oh, i suspect are... that's just something to do with the um production yeah production yeah. what do you call it injection molding or some such yeah so in the box you've also got a uh, really tricky to maneuver what the chuff there we go uh Oh, you can cold brew it. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, there's all sorts of videos on YouTube. Why was I not making... the people doing stuff. Why wasn't I making iced coffee? Oh, my God. There's so uh, many people on YouTube being really poncy oh about God. it. So it gives you a little instruction manual. Beautiful. On, uh, on how to do the things. But it is actually very easy because even I can do it. Even... And although I make coffee for a living. Yeah, even I don't like I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thanks. Okay, put it back together. It, what, and like, see if it's easy to like because uh, you know sometimes when you're putting things back together it's like oh my god yeah. that's never gonna work so these bits go in here like that and then it goes balls <laughs> like like that Boom. okay what about the, the rounded thing uh that goes on top and then you literally i assume you just whack it on no. Other, no, not the other way up. It's possible that that bit was not attached. Possible. There we go. Yeah. That'll be the badger. Right. Don't worry, kids. It's not that this is really difficult to use. It's just that I'm inept. So that there. Your little thingy bob in the lid. And then should... In theory. In the there we go. 
completely oh, camouflage, oh. camouflage against your pajamas. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, I I would say I really I really like the design. I think it's quite funky and very portable. The only minor issue I have with it is where does the coffee go that you bring with you? That's in a separate small canister tin. But surely, if you want it all together, now it's not all together. Obviously, all your AeroPress stuff is together, but... There was a guy is... on the internet, and he had a coffee grinder in his suitcase What, a portable well. coffee grinder? A complete portable twonk. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. I think it's very good. Uh, it is plastic. It's quite a lot of plastic. Yeah, but it's not single use. But it is not single use, so it's not... And it's better than coffee pods better than coffee pods which are single use mm -hmm. um so yeah overall i think it's i think it's a pretty good design um i like i like these colors they make me feel like a bad boy uh boy spelled b-o-i <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i feel like a bad boy bad boy oh i'll get you one yeah so dad i think i'm gonna keep it <laughs> bye, -bye. Uh, i'm not gonna bother um making any coffee in this because there are like i say there are a ton of aeropress videos out there uh, and if you really do like your coffee there's loads of different ways of using it and this will work for all of those as well aeropress is a great product that's almost universally people agree it's a great product but i think having this portable version as well is actually really useful particularly um, if you're staying somewhere uh, where they've only got the paper cups anyway thanks for watching <laughs> I'll catch you next time. Bye.